In this course, I've been using CodeLight as the default IDE, the default development environment for programming C. I think that CodeLight is a good choice for a newcomer to C because it's quite easy to install and get started with. So unless you've got some other reason for using another IDE for the purposes of this course, I'd suggest that you stick with CodeLight. But maybe you already work with some other IDE and there are many IDEs that support C, such as Visual Studio, Code Blocks, uh, Eclipse, and the IDE that you can see here, which is NetBeans. Now, I use NetBeans for Java all the time. NetBeans is a very widely used IDE for Java, and it's freely available and runs on multiple operating systems, so it's a great choice. But it can also support C programming. So, here in this video, I just want to show you as an example how you can get a copy of NetBeans installed. And in the next video, I'll show how you can import my sample code for use in NetBeans. Uh, I'm not going to su supply any particular support for NetBeans in the rest of this course. This is just an example to show you how you can use C source code files in various different development environments. The easiest way to install NetBeans for C is to select the installer with C and C++ support built in. Alternatively, if you've already got NetBeans for Java installed, you can add C support by selecting Tools, Plugins and clicking the Available Plugins tab. Check off C, C++ and click Install. Then click a few buttons, wait for the download and setup to complete, and now you are ready to start programming in C. And now you can edit, compile, and debug C programs and C++ using all the features of NetBeans.